good morning today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to edit your freediving or your snorkeling or diving photos any underwater image that you'd like to edit and bring out the color make it look a bit better I'm going to show you how to edit that today so if you look at this slide over here on the complete left over here you can see the raw image of the coral in the Red Sea and then in the middle you can see how it looks after I did some editing to it uh, brought out the color and the vibrancy and all of that I'm going to show you how I did that then at the bottom right corner here you can see this model freediving over here and in the middle here you can see I've corrected the color and then I've done some cropping as well so I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do all of this uh, we're going to start with this model over here so the first thing I want you to do and the link the links for everything is in the description the first thing I want you to do is go to GIMP and download I use the download directly if you've got a torrent downloader and you are more comfortable using that you can use it but I just download GIMP directly the link is in the description once you've downloaded GIMP you are going to need this image over here of this model freediving which I have also included in the description so to download that you can just download it over here I've already downloaded it I'm not going to download it again but once you have that then uh, my default download folder is downloads then what you can do is remember you've already installed GIMP now and you've now downloaded this image over here what you can do now is you can go ahead and right click on that image and open with GIMP okay let's do that so we can get started editing this image it's going to ask you if you want to convert it say yes convert okay so we're not going to do a very complicated adjustment to this image so what I'm why I'm telling you that is because I'm not going to add an alpha channel to this image I'm not going to make the background see-through in other words I'm not going to do any erasing I'm not going to duplicate this layer I'm not going to play around with the layers at all this is purely for beginners so when you look at this image I'm holding in control and I'm using the scroll on my mouse to scroll in and out of this image so when we look at this image the first thing that you should notice for for a person that edits underwater images the first thing I always notice is that the image is still very much blue due to the water okay so that's normal we take an image underwater obviously the image the photo was taken depending on the lens that the person used let's say one or two meters away from the subject which is fine but now there's water between the camera and between the person and that is what causes the skin tone to be bluish everywhere you look I mean if you had to look at a photo of a normal person and compare it to a person underwater you'll see underwater it always looks blue so that is what we're going to try and change now one very nice feature about this software that we use in GIMP is that it has when you go to colors always make sure that this is selected your layer over here when you go to colors there is this awesome feature called auto white balance so most of the time when you click on automatic white balance correction it already does a lot for you in terms of sorting that out so when you click on that you'll see it has already now made some adjustments however should it happen that you click on 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 uh, white balance
happens, don't click on it twice. But if it happens that you're not happy with the results ever for whatever reason, just press Control and Z together. You'll see it goes back to normal. Um, if you don't want to use the shortcut, um, edit and just say undo. Well, I've already pressed Control and Z now, so I don't have the option to undo it again. Let's say uh, redo or let's just do it over manually again so you can see it twice. Automatic white balance. There we go. Now, we can see the skin tone has changed and it's a little bit closer to normal. But it's not really there yet, 100%. So, the most important thing for you to remember if you're ever editing an underwater photo is that the first color that you lose as you go deeper and deeper in the water is red. So now that you know that, you've got an advantage when it comes to editing your photos. So I don't know how deep this photo was taken, but I can estimate that it was taken about between five and ten meters deep at least. And I think the reason why they went so deep when taking this uh, free diving photo is because they specifically wanted to be near the bottom. Okay, which is nice. It came out very nice. Okay. So now we want to correct the color even more because we've lost a lot of our red tone. So here on GIMP we're going to go to color balance. Now the only thing you're really going to have to play around with because this is less than 10 meters deep is you'll see it says cayenne on the left and red to the right. So what do we want to do? Do we want to increase towards cayenne or do we want to increase towards red? obviously towards red because red is the first color that we lose when we're diving that is why a lot of people put red filters on their cameras i don't agree with that i don't do it i just rather edit the image and the videos afterwards so let's see if the color comes back look at that now i'm going to overdo it on purpose to show you how it looks when you do it too much look there so obviously we don't want her skin to be red like she had sunburn that's overkill so i can already tell you that most of the time when we're doing these photos we don't go over 30. we don't go over 30. so let's reset it and let's see how it looks at 10. 10 is normally with people where i set it to not quite happy with that yet. Let's go a little bit more. 13. Hmm. Let's push it to 20 and see. Yeah, that's too much. Let's go back to 15. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now we've we've corrected some of the skin tone color. The next thing we want to do is go to the levels. So this has got to do with adjusting the contrast of the image. So again, there's not a perfect formula for every photo, but at least we know what it is we want to play around with, which of the color settings. There are color settings that you don't have to play around with when you're editing underwater photos. So let's have a look. What am I doing now? I'm reducing some of the low light in, of the image very carefully, very slowly, and I'm increasing some of the highlights of the image to bring that out a bit more. So if I had to overdo it, you could see how that would look. That would be a disaster. We don't want to do that. Just want to increase that a little bit. All right. Okay, let's have a look at that. Remember, you can always press Ctrl and Z to undo that, should you not be happy. Okay, then the last thing I normally do is shadows and highlights. Okay, it's not always necessary. I don't think it's necessary in this image, but I just want to show you. If your shadows go to zero, that's too much. So if you just, yeah, you can reduce some of your shadows the lighting of some of your shadows and you can increase the lighting of some of your shadows okay let's just uh, look it's 
actually fine. Like I said, I don't think it's necessary. It's, it's uh, what I find most often with underwater images, you have to sometimes reduce some of the uh, highlights. That is normally the case. You see now the floor at the bottom stands out a bit more, but it doesn't mean you have to have that. It's not maybe necessary. If you want to see the detail of the sea bottom over there, the bottom of the ocean there, then you can do that. That's up to you. I don't think it's really necessary in this image. I just wanted to show you that. Okay, now I'm happy with this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to export. You can overwrite that image that you downloaded originally, but then you've got nothing to compare it to. So what it's always best to do is always to export the image. Export as, um, let me go to documents, feature. Okay, let's say free diving model edit one dot jpeg very important in fact this this program will not allow you to save the image if you don't put the file extension in there but for those who don't know the sh the short name it gives you the option so if i didn't know it's j how to save a jpeg i would just click on that and it would insert that for me automatically over there okay export there we go awesome so now we have have fixed the coloring but we still want to crop the image okay now the the easiest way on a windows pc to crop an image for me let me show you how i do that it's fine i think this card changes so here we go just open the image, find the image that you saved, open it up and click on edit the image, click on crop. So I want to maintain the size of this image because I'm planning on using this on Instagram. So in other words, I don't want this thing to be able to move around like it's moving around right now. So what I would do in this case is I would hold in shift on my keyboard now when I move it I can't move it around like that I can only move it can only stay the same size okay now I can move this model up or down or however I want if I want to nice and center save as a copy is what I always do because I always keep the original images we can just go to download free diving model edit cropped yeah you don't have to put in the file type because windows because this is a jpeg it's automatically going to save it as a jpeg okay now we can go and do a bit of a comparison and see how our work actually came out here's the original image there and we go two steps to the right we can see that there is a big difference in the editing you can see the color of her skin everything came out very nicely okay good so we're done with that one so the next image i want to show you how to edit is this coral in the red sea over here so in order for you to get that image i have put a link in the description you can just go and download this image i've put this link in the description so you can just go and download it um, go ahead and do that and then once you've downloaded that image you find it you right click on it the same like you did with the model open with gimp okay so now remember to convert now remember what i said with the first image of that model what was the first thing i noticed because i've edited quite a couple of underwater photos and i've done many underwater videos so the first thing i always notice is when the object in the photo 
in the underwater photo is too blue then I can see that the image has not really been edited so if I look at the water there at the top I can estimate that the depth isn't so much let's let's call it within the 10 meter depth to be safe not that that is really relevant um, I always look at that because then I gauge how much red I need to edit because remember what I said the first color you lose when you're diving is red as you go deeper and deeper and then you lose more and more color anyway so with that being said always make sure that this layer is selected it, if it's the only layer then it should be selected anyway so remember the same with the with the model the nice feature about GIMP is that it's got a very nice white balance feature so if you click on that it should already bring out and correct a lot of the coloring okay if you're not happy with that you can press ctrl and z or undo via your edit over here but i am happy with the way that it does the white balance but i can see that i still have to make a couple of corrections to this image it's not quite there yet where i want it so again the first thing i'm going to do is color balance and again i'm going to be focusing on inserting more red now what i can already tell you from experience is that normally when people are taking when people are photographing animal life and coral as opposed to people these photos tends to be taken a little bit deeper sometimes uh, most of the time not always and you often have to do a lot more red adjustment than what you would when you're shooting, uh, when you fit photographing people. Most freediving photos are taken within five to five meters of the surface. Actually, five meters is common to take photo, uh, photos and videos of freediving. When you're specifically going out of your way just to do a photo shoot, I'm not talking about spear fishing and so on. So let's increase this and let's see what happens to this image. Look at that. How do I know when I'm going too far with the red? How do you know? Well, very simple. Keep your eye on the water. Keep looking there and there and there and there. Every time I adjust it, I look there and I look there. When the water starts turning from blue to red, then you've gone too far. Look here. See the water is red. This is red. That's not right. Let's reset it and start over. Let's go, 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 go. Let's see at what point can we notice with our eye that the water is starting to turn a bit red. Yeah, I'd say it's already starting to turn a bit red. That's overkill. That's unnecessary. So 30 seems to be giving us a good balance between the coral and the life that we want to see over here versus the water. So we have now effectively corrected that color. What else can we do to this image? To make it stand out or to make it look a little bit better we can still adjust the contrast a little bit and then maybe if necessary a bit of the shadows and highlights so let's go to levels the same thing we did with the model and let's see if we if we add a bit of contrast here not too much you don't want that to happen but you want it to remove some of the unnecessary light that's just actually spoiling the image and you want to increase some of the light that's contributing to the beauty of the image there we go that looks much better and then last but not least we can go and look at the shadows and highlights let's see if necessary i don't always adjust it M mostly i reduce the highlights just to see a bit more detail like i said in the previous image sometimes i reduce a bit of out in this case in this image i don't think it's really necessary to do that too much maybe just a little bit like that shadows i'm not going to reduce and i'm not going to increase it just doesn't look right i would just reduce a little bit of highlight like that okay good now once again we don't want to you can overwrite the image if you don't want to compare your editing with the 
original let me just for interest sake just to show you something let's uh, uh, add a layer here um, what we can do is we can take this image go to GIMP should be able to do this I don't know why the new update doesn't allow you to do that but let's convert that this is just to show you this is not for you to edit so if I remove this layer there you can see the original image versus how we've corrected it can you see the difference can you see the color of the coral and the sea life and the fish is a lot more vibrant now there we go okay so we don't need that layer over there we're just going to delete that layer but that's fine and let's say file export as let's let's go to peter okay so we say red sea diving coral edit one remember to add dot jpeg uh, jpg if you don't know the extension of a jpeg file or whatever file you're trying to save it as again gimp will give you yeah the options and it will show you so if you just click there and say export i always say 100 percent quality export done okay so do me a favor guys if you like this video please uh, subscribe to the channel please like the video and please share it with your friends uh, here's the image that we've edited let's take these two and just cut them and go to downloads and just paste them here so that we can compare it and there you can see there's the original image and there is our image again very big difference in how the final product came out so guys please like share and subscribe share the video with your friends if you i'm going to do some in the next video i'm going to do some video editing i'm going to show you how to first of all take a proper video of a free diver and then how to edit the video but i'm going to leave that for the next video i hope you guys have a nice day and thank you for watching